Hi guys, welcome to another tutorial from Tango and Rakia. Today we are going to be navigating through Airbnb and we are going to show you how to book a homestay and a little bit of the other features and negative points that the platform has. So the first thing that you have at the top right is the login option. In this case, I always suggest you to create an account and register because as Airbnb is stating in the rules, you will get direct discounts if you are a register member. So my suggestion for you is to do it. Then if you scroll a little bit down, you will see that directly you have here all the form to start to search for a, for a home state. So you can put where you're going, when you're arriving, when you're leaving, and how many of you are, and then you can go for search. In the platform as well, you can book what they call experiences, but at the end, it's nothing else than tours and different things that you can do on the spot in the place that you are going. So before we go back a little bit to the booking part, let's scroll, let's scroll down on the page. And here you will see that they have a great option that if you are not pretty sure where you want to go, you can just click here and it will give you a, a lot of options close to the place that you are living or the account that you have registered. So in our case, we are registered in Spain. So if you see here, you have many, many options around the city that you are geographically located. And then you see how much is the price per night, the dates that you can stay, and how far it is from your current location. So this is a good start if you are not really sure where you want to go. But okay, going back a little bit more, if we scroll down in the home page, there is also this great option that they have that you can buy present cards. So you can put some money there, and then you can give it as a present to someone, and they can use it on Airbnb to book some of the homes that they offer. So it's a good present for people that you know that love to travel. And then scrolling up a little bit more, you have some inspirational text to different places. You can get information about the city, what to see, the history, and so on. And scrolling a little bit down, some experience or virtual tours that they offer, or real ones that they offer, and you can book with them. And then we are not going to cover this, but in case you want to become host in Airbnb, you can go here and you will get the explanation of how is the process, tips, and so on. So going a little bit up, now we are going to try to book something. So let's say that we are going to Paris in the last week of January, and we are going to stay for a week. Only one person. So we hit for search. So here we have the result at your left. Of course this is the desktop version. You have as well the application for mobile that it looks pretty much the same. But of course the results are a lot. So we are going to try to sort it out a little. So first of all, if you see at the top right of your screen, you can add some filters. You say, for example, how many beds you want. If it is a verified homestay, meaning that there are reviews and, and the, the user is already for some time in the web. So you can make some options about the homestay, the host. You can see, for example, if they have streaming pool, Wi-Fi, what kind of property, if there's an apartment, a house, and a breakfast, boutique. And let's say that we want them, the host to speak English and French, so we can communicate better. And let's go try to filter this. And then you can also sort this information and so how we can sort it by price, let's say from 9 to 150. So we see only that result. And if you look at right, you have the map, 
so we have a better understanding of where that particular homestay there and breakfast or boutique is located in the city. Then the other good thing is that if you are located with someone that is from the place itself, some local, you will get the best tips that probably you don't get when you are staying in a hotel. The bad thing is that the fact that you are getting a book from a person, from a person that is not really a hotel or something like that, the, in most of the cases they are not automatically approved. So you'll need to wait and sometimes it must be a pain because you think that you already have your booking and then you realize I'm not or that there is cancer without any anticipation. So this is something that you always need to consider while you are sitting here me and me. But let's say that we go to this and pick this one, first one, the 55 per night. Has good reviews. So we go there. Also, if you like some of them, but you want to make a first selection, you can as well. And as long as you are registered already and logged to the page, you can set up your favorite. You can create a new folder, let's say that we call it Paris. Create. And then everything is going there. Just to give you an example. So let's go back to our room. Here you have a little bit of the photos of the place that you are going to book. You can read a review of the different people that stay there. In general terms they have very good reviews. And that's always a good source of information if you want to stay in some place. It could be a personal house, it could be an apartment, it could be a hotel. But it's, it's always good practice to read the reviews of other users. So we scroll down a little, you see information about the host, what they are offering in the place. There is free cancellation until the 19 in this case. If you want to check the availability for different days, you can still do it here. Then you see the reviews that we were speaking about the location of the homestay of the house and something about the host in this case. You have some final information about what you need to know about this particular place to stay and they tell you that you need to arrive between 5 and 11 in the night, that you have to check out at 10 in the morning, it's not suitable for kids, it's not allowed to smoke, so all that personal information about this particular place. On the other hand, the other problem or the thing that we don't totally like about Airbnb is the fact that check-in or check-out is not really following any standard rules and sometimes they have crazy hours like this and like you cannot check-in before 5 p.m. which it doesn't really make too much sense. Even more considering that then they, they are requesting you to check out at 10 in the morning. But okay, this change from place to place and host to host so you need to check it and you can as well make a particular agreement despite what is written here. Then it's going to a little bit up again, then we have the pricing part. And this is another part that is very tricky in Airbnb and you need to always consider and check it at the detail level. There is always some price for the room, but then you make some calculation, you arrive to some final price and then it's not really true. Because as you see here, you end the final price for the room for six nights is 284. But then they put some service commission and then some local taxes and in many cases also you will have the cleaning tax, the time, sorry, the cleaning tax. So as you see, the original price for the days and the room differs quite almost in 70 euros. This is something that we don't like. So pay attention to that. Don't consider the price of the place only making how many days you want to stay and the price per night. Because then there are always some other hidden taxes that you don't see at the beginning. The other thing that as we were saying let's say that we want to book now, you can pay and so on, but the problem that in many cases this will not be automatically approved. You will need to wait for the host 
to say that they are accepting your booking. That is also something to consider. And other thing that is also not super cool about this platform is that reclamations are really difficult to bring forward because despite being um, a kind of platform where the person is booking directly from a host, then any sort of disagreement needs to be managed through Airbnb and that could be really a pain. So that's also something that you need to consider. Then as you can see, the platform itself is quite intuitive, it's very user friendly, so it's not difficult to use, but it's important to consider that kind of things, like the prices are pretty much tricky because then they always add taxes for cleaning and the local ones, and they are not including in the price as many other platforms. The other thing that you need to consider, as you were saying, is that the check-in and check-out times are some kind of random and it really depends on the availability of the host. They are not following any rules around the platform. And finally, also to consider that the reservations in many times, they are not absolutely immediately. Nevertheless, you can put some filters where you want to see only the establishment hotels that are breakfast or whatever it is, that they are auto-accepting the booking. So guys, this is all about the booking or reserving a place in Airbnb. These are the good and the negative points for us. We hope that you really love this tutorial and if you did it, please subscribe and like this video. Don't hesitate to leave a comment or your questions in the section below. And if you want to see tutorials like this, please don't forget to visit our website. You have all the details in the description below. Thanks for watching and hope to see you the next time. Bye guys.